Okay, everyone, welcome to the channel and the video today. Um, Cyber Dog here. I want to uh, talk about a reconnaissance tool that is in Kali Linux today. It's called the Harvester, and um, it's a command line tool. It's included in Kali Linux, and it is, um, how can I say, it grabs emails from a variety of search engines and it's used to find uh, email accounts, subdomains, virtual hosts, open ports, uh, banners, employees' names, so on and so forth. And um, these are all public sources. So there's nothing um, you know, illegal about this. You're grabbing from different search engines on the web and basically compiling them, which you can bring into, let's say, a text file. So anyway, let's get started by logging in to Kali Linux as the first step. All right, so let's get started. What we're gonna do is type in the harvester. It is case sensitive, make sure that H is an uppercase and then do a space and then we're gonna do help. So we're gonna load this here and uh, what's gonna happen here, it's gonna load it and then it's gonna give the help menu. Help menu is gonna have all those commands so you can take a look and decide exactly uh, what you are looking for depending upon your goals and your reconnaissance okay so what we're gonna do here is um, I'm, I'm just gonna talk about the main commands that I use so the um, the domain up here you have uh, dash D that's gonna be the domain that you are targeting that you want to go ahead and harvest the emails from limit is something that I use as well. So for example, I only want to uh, limit the the amount of uh, resources that I'm getting back to, let's say 300. So I would put 300 in there. Um, and um, let's see another one, uh, dash B source down here. This is an important one that I use every time. You want to specify where your um, what what data resource you are targeting. So, for example, if I wanted to just strictly um, use the source, let's say Google, I would do dash b space Google, and then I would go ahead and you know do my search. So, why don't we go ahead and do one with these very <coughs> simple commands here we're not gonna we don't want to make it anything that is um dramatic for, for the first one so the domain so uh why don't we do tesla.com okay i have a tesla i love it very much let's be a little nosy it's in my mind right now what the heck um we want to do limit so let's limit this to let's say 300 okay and we want to get our source again the source of where we are gathering our data and that's going to be google um and then what we're going to do is we're just going to click enter and we will wait as the <coughs> information is gathered and then we will go ahead and you know Sometimes you're not always going to get um, search results, okay? So why don't we go ahead and put this on pause as I get these results. All right, so another reason I typed in Tesla is because they have an ultra secure website. And uh, as you can see, let's have a look here emails found four emails found um here's the uh the hosts okay hosts found five and now why don't we go ahead and and try a uh, another one um now that we have all right so why don't we go ahead and uh do a search here now <clears throat> i've already typed this in this is a restaurant that i uh attended in the past so Carmine's restaurant and the reason that I chose something like this and just kind of just came out of my head I was thinking about food um, is because 
some of these larger companies they're going to protect their emails so if you go ahead and you choose one of those big domains um, for example tesla.com you're not going to come up with a lot of results and the reason being again is they are uh, protecting and safeguarding um, their um, uh, emails their information with various different methodologies which we're not going to go ahead and touch because then we're going to completely veer off of this this uh, topic that we have here today so um the harvester um we're specifying the domain in this case it's carminesnyc.com um and then we're going to list 300 okay which we're not going to get anything near that and then the source is going to be google now we're going to go ahead and press while this is searching, I want to remind everybody that please go ahead and I promise to make a ton of videos. I've been in the industry for quite some time. I hold a lot of certifications in cybersecurity. I want to go ahead and share that. If you can just um, show your appreciation, if you do like the videos by liking and subscribing, I would really appreciate that. And I promise to make a lot more. Finally, and as you can see, here's the emails that are found. Okay. For this particular website so for example if you were targeting um you know doing your reconnaissance you wanted to really find out um information on the amount of emails that they had um this is how you would do so it's clear and concise as you can see there is several different emails here that they're using and um, these were all gathered through google and we are giving the hosts um, down below that found two hosts with the um, with the IP address so that's really how simple it is to go ahead and just use this tool and harvest some emails um, it's it's a simple reconnaissance tool um, you're not doing any brute forcing in any way so it's it's gathering the public information okay so let's um, go ahead and do another search larger company this time we're going to use the source as Google and then we're going to go ahead and use some other sources as well after this search okay so as you can see there is some different um, hosts found as far as the emails found there's just one email and now let's go ahead and do the same thing except we're going to change the source okay so why don't we change the source to let's say so this is going to pull now from LinkedIn's database and we should see a substantial amount of um, results here Let's see what we get. All right. So as you can see here, um, we have a lot of information here. You can see, um, you know, different different names here. Um, their their titles. Um, Okay, so what this becomes is a very useful tool for someone who is doing reconnaissance to find information out. You can find titles, um, employees. In some cases, you can get emails. In other cases, you cannot, as you can see. Um, but depending upon the source that you're going to go ahead and use is going to um, depend on the information. Okay, so as you can see, um, Google didn't bring up much, but then with the LinkedIn, we got a substantial amount of, of information. So anyway, as, as you can see, um, why don't we scroll up here and you can see all the information um, that was gathered from this one particular um, Ford.com. Okay, and this is all LinkedIn. Okay, so... Um, found 315 uh, users now we could have pulled up a lot more but we limited ourselves in data so that'll just give you an idea 
how you can do thorough research on employees from different databases on the web using the harvester. It's a very valuable tool and it decreases the amount of time necessary during the reconnaissance phase and it's just a very helpful and useful tool and I hope this helps to give you some kind of an idea of one of the added tools um, that you can use in Kali Linux and other uh, platforms within Linux if you don't have Kali Linux you can still install this but if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I promise a lot more videos to come thank you and have a great one